restroom, you know what I expect when I say break, break clean. Protect yourselves at all times, obey all my commands, touch gloves and best of luck. Proud night for the referee you see there, Porico Raxigan was telling me at the weigh-in yesterday, this as a judge and referee is his 100th contest. Proud night for him and a night when Paddy Donovan here looks to make it a round dozen in the professional ranks, unbeaten in 11 so far. So once again, the decibel level rises as it did gradually through the evening when Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron met for the first time back in May. And a chance for Paddy Donovan to stoke the atmosphere here again. Fought on that undercard in the very early stages of it as he lands that strong shot, Barry. He started positively here, hasn't he? Paddy Donovan sends the ring a real talent, but this is a big test, a big step up for him. Danny Bowles a really good fight, beat some really good fighters already in his career, and Will and Kevin Olive asking a lot of questions here to Paddy Donovan. Yeah, it's a really good measuring stick. See how good Paddy Donovan is, because we know how good Danny Ball is. Last time against Jamie Robinson was a clinical performance, boxed so well. He really did, and like I say, we know what he's about. So the battle with the lead hand already, as you usually get, Orthodox and Southpaw. Who will find the range of that rear hand first? Good yeah. positive start though from Donovan. Yeah, good crisp punches there from Donovan. Ball just went a little bit too long. His hand, oh, good shot there from Ball, that's better. So for the stage, went a little bit too long, they didn't let his hands go. Ball has a hallmark as being a slow starter, so we'd expect to see Donovan being the more impressive in the early stages, but Ball looking ready to throw the solid shots early on. But that was good there from Donovan, he threw a good shot, but he moved his head after he's thrown it, and that's going to be very important, because Ball will fire off your work. I like the balance of Donovan. You see, he's probably got majority on his back foot, but he's always ready to pounce forward or backwards. Really, really good balance. And that's where he generates his power, and he's got blistering hand speed, he really has. Just tips his legs on again, ball, and that just that just throws up the rhythm there of, of Donovan. Makes it more difficult just to find his range. Good shot though. Ball looking for the right hand against the South Four. He's faced only one other South Four in his career very early on, MJ Hall, and this many levels above. The difference in this opening round has been the hand speed, the reactions as well of Donovan. He's tried a couple of times to land that right hand ball, but he just, again, just see that he sways out of range and he just fires back with sharp counters. Really good boxing from Donovan. Okay? Use your jab, mix your jabs up. Easy and hard, easy and hard, yeah? Slow and hard. Don't look for the big shot. Now he's open, he's patient. So you gotta give him that up, and then that down. But make sure he calls in, yeah? Give him that up, and that down, yeah? Next one, touch, touch, touch. Give him that, and he's gonna come. So a sharp start by Paddy Donovan in the opening round, finding success in particular with that backhand, the left hand, looped around the guard of Danny Ball at times and once or twice, just dead straight as well. Just got to be careful, Ball, he's moving to his right, and I know he wants to wants that right hand goal, he's having success with it, good left hook there from him, but it, and also he's walking onto the left hand there to Donovan, so you have to be careful with that. 
See the front foot of Donovan, he's predominantly on the outside now. That was better from Ball, just taking that step to his left, looking for that right hand. Donovan just briefly switching his attention to the body. I don't think that would be a bad tactic for, for Ball also. Very quick, leaning back, Donovan, to, to miss the shots. The body stays there, so jab to the body first. But the footwork, you see how quickly he's just ready to, to step out of range, Donovan. Yeah, the, the front foot's very light, isn't it? On, on the floor. He sets it when he wants to throw a punch, but when he's, when he's easy, he can easily push off, that, off that, the balls at his feet. It's where he, he holds himself in the ring as well. He's always on the front foot. He's just got so much space behind him. It makes it very difficult because of that foot speed for, for his opponents to land anything. You've almost got to try and time Paddy Donovan in, in, on the way in. But you're seeing again that speed. That was a nice long left hook though from Ball. That was good, Ball. He stepped inside the guard there, Ball, and then ripped that left hand over the top. It was an unusual shot, but it came off. And I said he's moving to his right, so he's moving onto that left hand there. But he has taken the right hook out of the play here of Donovan. Oh, lovely left hand, that was a lovely shot. Boxing beautifully here, Donovan. The brilliant footwork that Dan was talking about earlier on. Gave himself the room for that shot into the final minute of the second round. We say it all the time about acceleration of pace, and that was it. He lands with a good shot, all of a sudden it's bang, 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 straight away. Doesn't wait to have a look, he knows where he is, he lets his hands go. Took it well though, Ball, gotta give him his credit for that. This is really impressive so far from Donovan. The, the hand speed, the foot speed, the reactions, the counter punching, just the, the know how. He's a, he's a superb talent. It's down to ball now to make the adjustments. Can he get close? Can he try and time one of those right hands as Donovan comes in? Big if so. World Championship action in the Professional Fighters League. Now the attention switches to Europe and that big championship night coming up here in Dublin, Friday, December the 8th, just under two weeks' time. This has been impressive so far from Paddy Donovan and Danny Ball in the corner being asked to be more unpredictable, use more feints. He's responding as well to the, to the advice in the corner that they want to put a dent into Donovan for the later rounds, hoping that Donovan will tire. You might lose his early rounds, they've said, but try and put a dent in Donovan. Well, they're saying you, you, you're making him work, but you, he's working at his range. But the problem is with Donovan, his range is wherever he wants it to be, I feel. He has a great balance, isn't he? Yeah. Just razor sharp. He really is so quick, whether he's leading or he's countering. It's just so fast. Scheduled for 10, this the furthest that Paddy Donovan has been in his eight rounds on points so far in his career. 11 fights old. He got to throw that right hand straight, though, ball, not loop it. Takes too long to get there, too readable. Look at Donovan, just waiting for him to make a mistake. It was a good counter left hand to the body that he took it well, Ball. Kind of walked onto that shot as well. I think it was a little high more on the chest, but 
A good shot. He tried to fight again there. Donovan, really, really good work again as he goes through the gears. Lovely stuff. Tremendous variety from Donovan. Hooks, uppercut, straight shots, all in his repertoire. Yeah, the uppercut and that combination was fantastic. Really was. But again, the ball showing how durable he is. So getting these shots up. The body shot there for Donovan now, whip, whip across the body, whose hands are very high. Yeah, he'll like this, Donovan, he'll like the fact that Ball's trying to creep forward. Yeah. Walk him onto the shots, take that little half a step back. Again, just seeing the variation, that one taking on the, the he, elbow. What ball, he's but... done now, Donovan, sorry, what he's done now, Ball's trying to get too close for it, and he lands with the shots, because he's made Ball miss, made him pay. He's trying to get too close, and that just means he's walking on the shots. He's crammed him up a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, he's good pressure from Ball, though I do feel that might play into the hands of Donovan. You've got to make sure those elbows are close together. He's starting to look for that uppercut now, Donovan. So it's important that their elbows are tucked together. Can't let those shots creep through with the speed and accuracy that Donovan has. Oh, a good shot. One of the better shots of the contest so far for Danny Ball towards the end of this third round. Yes, class, counter punching, accuracy, speed, the feet. Me and Barry are both touched on so good. You see the exit there, just spins to his right, Barry. And also, you know, just to take a little move back as well to create the space when he throws that uppercut. Just real, just real awareness of where he is in the ring at all times. Into round four, the sole defeat on the record of Danny Ball came a couple of years ago in a fight for the British and Commonwealth titles. He was stopped in six rounds by Echo Esuman. Winner, as we were saying earlier, against Jamie Robinson of the English title on another matchroom card earlier this year. And yeah, he looked good in that fight as well. I was really impressed with Danny Ball. He was patient, but he was constantly turning the screw. Really busted up Jamie Robinson. He's struggling here. He landed a good right hand in that previous round, but it's been far and few between, and it's just been the speed, the reaction, the footwork we keep drumming on about from Paddy Donovan. But he's still trying to close the gap, he's still trying to make an impression. It's not working for him yet, but he's, you know, he's persevering with it. It's the problem is though, with Donovan's boxing within himself at his own pace. The pressure's got to make him fight the work harder than he wants to work. It's not as fast hands there from Donovan. I would like to see Danny Ball sort of faint that right hand, take the step to the left and throw the left hook, try and get round that lead hand of Donovan as he's moving to his right, but you need to faint with the right hand first. Even if you don't throw the left to the head, target the body, but you need Donovan to move to his right, so that's where the faint comes into play. The referee takes a very, very close look. With 50 seconds to go in the round, and now Donovan starts to open up. Ball under pressure, taking cover. Donovan now on the verge of a big win. Will the referee step in here? Ball has nothing left to give. Donovan opening up, raining the punches in. He's a brilliant finisher, Donovan. He's doing
MVP couldn't resist the brilliant, brilliant attack. First the single shot, then the follow-up, and it's a very, very impressive win for Paddy Donovan on the biggest night and in the biggest test of his professional career so far. I've got to say, amazing performance there from Paddy Donovan. That was a real step up in classroom there, and it looked, it looked a relatively walk in the pack. Danny Ball's a good fighter, beat some really good fighters. It's as tough as anything. How Danny Ball got up on that knockdown and tried to fight back, I do not know. But the class and quality of Paddy Donovan wasn't going to let him off the hook. Raining in punches. The referee, the corner, could have fallen the towel and they're going to stop that fight at any time. But in the end, took another big shot. And the towel went in. That's a really stand-up performance there from Paddy Donovan. 10 out of 10 for me. That, that was spot on, Mike. That really, really was impressive. He's beaten a very good fighter there in Danny Ball, a tough, solid, well-rounded fighter, but he was just second best. Paddy Donovan was spot on, Mike. And that's what you want to see, I think, Darren, as we look at some replays now of this tremendous finish. Yeah, it was a lovely shot. Again, it was the hand speed that allowed the space to find that left hand. You can see what it meant to Donovan. And I agree with what Barry said. He'd done so well to get to his feet, Danny Ball. But look at that, he gives himself the space. He takes his head off the line. He misses with his own left hook, Danny Ball, but he takes that left flush on the chin. What a shot. And Barry was saying very early on in the contest, Darren, about how Danny Ball had beaten some good men, the likes of Sam Gilly, who's gone on to win the English and Commonwealth titles. Mason Cartwright challenged for the British title. But every now and again, you see somebody who's got just that little bit more.